Therefore I call this faithful by whom you were calling to the fellowship of the Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. God is a faithful God. He is a faithful God. He is a faithful God. Oh, good morning, my dear listeners. What a beautiful Tuesday morning. Welcome to the program, Gitaios World. Gitaios World. This is the first episode of the program on this day, Parrot FM 101.1 MHz. So, be my guest on the program. My name is Dele Ogotola, your anchor man. The program is sponsored by Gitaio Music Production, North Carolina, USA. So sit back. As we enjoy the program. Blessed be the Lord, my rock and my strength, who teaches my hands to work, and my fingers to fight in the land of the living. God is a faithful God. Ah, the first segment of the program. This is my story. This is my story. Ah, my name is Mrs. Fanny J. Crosby Van Asten. I was born in a town in New York State in March. 1820, when the weather was still cold. Soon after bath, I caught a cold, and my eyes became red and inflamed. My parents called the local doctor. Our family doctor could not come, so they called a young doctor with little experience. He wanted to reduce the inflammation, so he applied a mustard poultice to my eyes. I immediately lost my sight, becoming completely blind. The doctor was devastated, and my parents were distressed. But they realized he had been trying to help. My father died while I was still a baby. My mother had little education, so she got a job as a housekeeper for another family to support us. She left me in the care of my grandmother. My grandmother set about to teach me as best she could to be happy and independent. She took me for long walks. She would stop along the way to teach me the names of the flowers. I soon learned to recognize them by their smell. She encouraged me to play with other children. I learned to climb to the top of the tallest trees without fear. I also enjoyed riding the horses on the farm. People who saw me playing did not realize that I was blind. My first poem was published when I was eight years old. It was based on my experience, for I had written these words. Hmm, oh, what a happy child I am. Although I cannot see, I am resolved that in this world, contented I will be. How many blessings I enjoy that other people don't? So weep or sigh because I am blind. I cannot and I won't. Hmm, being blind? It was easy for me to memorize. By the time I was 10 years old, I could recite by memory eight books of the Bible. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus and Numbers in the Old Testament and the books of Matthew, Mark, Luke and John in the New Testament. That is 242 chapters in all. I memorized these chapters by listening to my grandmother as she read the Bible to me. There were no schools for the handicapped near my house. I used to pray fervently, Dear Lord, dear Lord, help me to learn like other children. When I was 12 years old, I entered the New York City Institution for the Blind. This was a boarding school. I was very homesick at first. The teachers tried to stop me from writing poems, so I would concentrate on my school subjects. We studied all the subjects taught in other schools. And I enjoyed all my studies, except one. Except one. Which one? I will tell you next week. That's my story. Hmm, wonderful, wonderful. That was the story of Vanity Crosby. 
a blind woman that wrote more than 9,000 hymns, some of which are among the most popular in every Christian denomination. <sighs> what a hero. No matter your condition, God understands. He has a purpose for you. Trust him. You have a story to tell. All right, welcome to the second segment of the program, The Tires Music. <sighs> and so, the music for today, Kedusha. Kedusha. Ela, la, 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 Kedusha, ni mami mo ala gwara ya. Kedusha, ni mami mo lo zuwa o o o. Ato farati, manifest yourself. Say yeah. Kedusha, Kedusha, ni mami mo ni mami mo ya. Kedusha, ni mami mo ala gwara ya. Oh, 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 oh. I took my seat. Come on, my face. Hey, 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 we don't want to be seen, want to see your glory, Baba. We are here for you. Manifest yourself. Hey, Manifest it. We want to see your power, love. We want to see your glory. Now that we worship you, give all the glory, love. Hey, hey. Oh, love. Manifest yourself. Oh, I hope you enjoy that music. You can download Olua Kande's song on iTunes and all digital stores worldwide. Follow Olua Kande on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at Olu Akande. Hmm. I have a good news for all our listeners. As from next week, there will be some fantastic gifts for our listeners, all from Digital Music Production. And that will be done on their YouTube account and Instagram page. So, go there and follow the page. Subscribe and click the notification button so that you can be notified when the question pops up, you can be the winner of the week. So, go and subscribe on their channel. Before we go on the program today, let us listen to the word for the week from the CEO, Jitaya Music Production, USA. 
Oni shegon la wani Jesu abani dar Ororemuni la rada Ago uti Jesu Iroli du lori sera Oru kodi doni Ori told the Juloni Jesu, Jesu, Jesu. Good day, everyone. Uh, welcome to the first week of uh, this program. My name is Olu Akonde, the founder of Gitaya Music. Matthew 28, verse 18a. And Jesus came and said to them, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Today I'm introducing you to my father. Meet my father. He's the one that has it all. He has it all. Everything we desire. Everything you want. He has all power in heaven and earth. Do you know my father? His name is Chief Emmanuel. He owns a lot of gold all over the world. Not only in the world, in heaven and on earth. Haggai chapter 2 verse 8. The silver is mine, the gold is mine, declares the Lord Almighty. He who doesn't need to upload a song on YouTube before he can get millions and uncountable of subscribers. He doesn't need to own an Instagram page, but yet he has so many followers than anyone on earth. He has angels bow before his throne, singing, Holy, 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 hallelujah, worthy is a lamb, hallelujah. He is a God that doesn't work with first and second time of his regime. He's not a politician or the president on earth that has to go for second time. He has the throne forever. He has the throne forever. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 8a Your throne, O God, will last forever and ever. He has been on the throne since the beginning of the world. He reigns forever. So my friend, I will tell you today, we have a great friend that we can hold on to. What a friend we have in him, all our sins and griefs to bear. Are you passing through any depression? Any challenge? Are you worrying about today, tomorrow or future? There is a friend I can introduce you to. There is a friend I can take you to right now. His name is Jesus Almighty. He will stand with you everywhere you go. He will keep you highly motivated and give you strength. In 1st Chronicle, he says, Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. For his steadfast love endures forever. For his steadfast love endures forever. Meet my father. His name is Ayirayi Olorun Yano. Olowo Gbogboro Oba Awon Oba. He has it all and can make you a living testimony. Shalom. Oh, that was the word for the week. I hope you get motivated. So, that was the program for today. Join us next week for another episode of the program. I am Dele Ogontola, your anchor man. Plus 234-806-280-6430. Plus 234-806-280-6430. That's the number. Stay blessed. I took fire at you, manifest yourself.